Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, so we just arrived back at home from um, after our Florida trip. Didn't feel like cooking, of course, so we stopped by Popeyes. Howard and I got the exact same meal. We got a two-piece dark, which is a leg and a thigh, a biscuit and red beans and rice, and then we each yeah. got a lemonade. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having tacos. You can probably hear Harrison in the background. He is having a meltdown. But I am making some Mexican rice. This is my shortcut Mexican rice. I've got some oil in the skillet, some um, onions in there as well, and then some rice that I'm just browning. And um, so when my rice has browned, I am going to add my water, you know, whatever amount you use to make your rice. And then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of this tomato bouillon chicken flavored uh, bouillon. <laughs> All right, so I'll be back. Okay, so here is dinner. So this is a street taco kit that I used. It was on clearance at Kroger and you get the flour tortillas, the seasoning mix, and the um, sauce. Now, you're supposed to use um, sirloin, but I just used ground beef. I didn't feel like digging through the freezer to find some sirloin steak. Um, but this is my plate. I've got cheese um, and oh, the meat and then the sauce. And then here is the rice that I made. And then the beans are left over. I had beans uh, last week and so we had a little bit left over. So that's what I'm using. I did warm up my tortilla chill, um, tortillas on, on top of the stove, like in a skillet, kind of like I was making pancakes. I can't stand to eat them straight out of the package. And then this is Howard's plate, same thing, except he added avocado and sour cream to his. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having this Midtown pizza. It is from HEB. I bought this once before. It had to be over a year ago. I don't remember exactly, but I do remember that the brisket on top of there got kind of crispy, but I don't remember the details. So I'm gonna cook it again according to package instructions, but on this pizza, you get chopped brisket, you get pork and beef sausage, red onion, mozzarella, and cheddar cheese. And so here it is in its frozen state. I'm gonna pop this in the oven. I think it says for 12 to 14 minutes. And of course, I'll be back. Okay, so here is the pizza hot out of the oven. I let this bake for about 13 minutes at 425. And as you can see, the brisket did not get burnt this time. I don't know what happened last time, but it was definitely burnt last time. But it is nice and tender and absolutely delicious. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having shrimp Caesar salads. So um, in my fridge, I have this Italian salad dressing and um, this right here is just remnants from a Caesar salad kit that I bought and the lettuce went bad, but all the stuff that came with it was fine. So I'm gonna use this on that lettuce and then I have some blackened seasoning here and I'm gonna clean up my shrimp and I am going to use this on the shrimp and then I'm gonna add it to the salad. Now, normally when I make these salads, I add egg and then I also have like um, chicken tenders that I chopped up, but trying to you know eat a little bit better. So decided to go with shrimp tonight for the first time. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. I did have to add a little bit of Olive Garden salad dressing uh, when I mixed the salad because it was a little bit dry because I used the entire bag of lettuce. And then there is the shrimp, of course, and then I just poured the juices from the shrimp um, right on top of everything. But anyway, quick and easy. Oh, and I forgot to add um, that I decided to add some green onions in there too. So I chopped up just one green onion and added it to the mix. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. 
Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making cube steak and gravy in my freezer. I had a package of cube steak and there are four in here. All I did was season it with a little bit of this uh, buttery poultry blend. And then I've got some seasoned flour here. I've got um, garlic powder, pepper, Mm, I think I may have some salt in here as well. All I'm gonna do is dredge this cube steak and that flour and then pan fry it and let it get brown on both sides. Okay, so my gravy is thickening up and now I'm just adding that cube steak right back in that pot or skillet I should say and then I'm gonna cover it up with gravy and just let it simmer for a little bit and then we'll be ready to eat okay so here is everything all plated up I will make sure to link the recipe um, for the cube steak in the description box I didn't follow it exactly, but I loosely followed the recipe. I will say I don't think it made quite enough gravy. So if you like gravy, I might, you know, add some more milk to the recipe, but I am serving the cube steak with mashed potatoes. And I do have a video in the description box that I will link on how I made mashed potato, how I make my mashed potatoes. I made a video, I guess probably almost a year ago. And then I'm also serving some buttered corn on the side. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.